Hello there. Hi. Yes, you. Thank you. Hello. Welcome. Um, are you interested in time? Uh, this is about a, a timeline sort of deception. So I'd like to say hello. Welcome to all my subscribers, non-subscribers, trolls, bots, and locals alike. Um, Phantom Time Hypothesis. The Phantom Time Hypothesis is a historical asserted by Herbert Ilg. First published in 1991, it hypothesized a by the Holy Roman Empire Otto III, Pope Sylvester II, and possibly the Byzantine Emperor Constantine to fabricate the Anno Domini dating system retroactively in order to place them at a special year of AD 1000 and to rewrite history. To legitimize Otto's claim to the Holy Roman Empire, Ill believed that this was achieved through the alteration, misrepresentation and forgery of documentary and physical evidence. According to this scenario, the entire Carologian period, including the figure of Charlemagne, is a fabrication. With the phantom time of 297 years, AD 614 to 911, added to the early Middle Ages. This hypothesis has never attracted any support from historians. Herbert Ilg. Sorry for saying his name wrong. Ilg was born in 1947 in Bavaria. He was an active in association dedicated, dedicated to Manuel Velosky. Catechism? Trophism? I can't even say that, sorry. Um, sudden, um, short lived violent events, possibly worldwide in scopes, contrast, the unification, according with slow incremental changes such as erosion. What about the Earth's geological and history revision? Uh, can't even say that. Sorry. He worked as a publisher and author under his own publishing company and publishing his own journal, English Leaps and Times. Outside his publications, related to revised chronologically, he has edited the works of Ergon Fidel. Before focusing on the early medieval part, Ilk published various proposals for revised chronologies of prehistory and ancient Egypt. His proposals received prominent coverage in the German popular media in the 1990s. His 1996 translated English is The Invented Middle Ages also received scholarly recensions. But was universally rejected as fundamentally flawed by historians. In 1997, the Journal of Ethics and Social Science offered a platform for critical discussion to his proposal, with a number of historians commenting on various aspects. After 1997, there have been little scholarly reception of his ideas, although they continue to be discussed as pseudo-history in German popular media. It will continue to publish the Phantom Time Hypothesis until at least 2013. Also in 2013, he published an unrelated topic of art history on German re Renaissance master Anton Pilgrim, but again, but again proposing revisions to convent, convent, conventional chronology and arguing for the abolition of the art historical category of mannerism. Proposals, the basis of his hypothesis, include the scarcity of archaeological evidence that can be reliably dated to the period of AD 614 to AD 911, the perceived inadequacies of radiometric and dendrochronological methods of dating this period, and over resilience of medieval historians on written sources. The presence of Romanesque architecture in the 10th century Western Europe suggesting that the Roman era was not so long ago as conveniently thought. The relationship between Julian calendar and the Gregorian calendar and the underlying astronomical solar or tropical year. The Julian calendar introduced by Julius Caesar was long known to introduce a discrepancy from the tropical year of around one day for each century that the calendar was in use. By the time the Gregorian calendar was introduced in AD 1582, he alleges that the old Julian calendar 
should have produced a discrepancy of 13 days between it and the real or tropical calendar. Instead, the astronomers or mathematicians working for Pope Gregory had found that the civil calendar needed to be adjusted by only 10 days. The Julian calendar day, Thursday, 4th of October, 1582, was followed by the first day of the Gregoria calendar, Friday, 15th of October, 1582. From this, he concludes that the AD era had counted roughly three centuries which never existed. Criticism The most difficult challenge to the theory is through observations in ancient astronomy especially those solar eclipses cited by European sources prior to the 600 AD when phantom time would have been distorted in chronology. Besides several others that perhaps too vague to disprove the phantom time hypothesis, two in particular are dated with enough precision to question the hypothesis. One is reported to be Pinely the Elder in 59 AD and one by this guy in 418 AD. Both of these dates and times have confirmed eclipses in addition to obs observations during the Tang Dynasty in China and Halley's Comet for example are consistent with current astronomy with no phantom time added. Archaeological remains and dating methods such as tree ring dating refute rather than support phantom time. The Gregorian reform was never reported to bring the calendar in line with the Julian calendar as it had existed at the time of its institution in 45 BC. But as it had existed in 325 AD, the time of the Council of Nicaea, which had established a method for determining the date of Easter Sunday by fixing the renal equinox on March 21 in the Julian calendar. By 1582, the astronomical equinox was occurring on March 10 in the Julian calendar, but Easter was still being calculated from the nominal equinox on March 21. In 45 BC, the astronomical venal equinox took place around March 23. Ilg's three missing centuries thus correspond to 369 years between the institution of the Julian calendar in 45 BC and the fixing of the date Easter date at the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD. If Charlemagne and the Carol only oh, I can't say it sorry were fabricated, there would have been corresponding fabrication of history for the rest of Europe, including Anglo Saxon England, the Papacy and the Byzantine Empire. The Phantom Time period would also encompass the life of Muhammad and the Is Islamic expansion into areas of the former West West the Western Roman Empire, including the conquest of this guy. The history, too, would have to be forged or drastically misdated. It would also have to be reconciled with history of the Tang Dynasty of China and its contact with the Islamic world, such as the Battle of Talus. Ah, oh, it's annoying me when it moves. So there you go. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? What do you reckon? Um... I'll leave the links in the description for you, um, but it's pretty interesting. There's some really cool books by the look of it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. If you are in the world, hit that like button, subscribe. I really want to thank all you new subscribers and um, raise your vibrations, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.